So it is your assignment from us to find something to think about that doesn't suck. <laughs> Something that when you think about it gives you some relief. Are there dolphins anywhere near this island? There are dolphins. And do you have any kind of a relationship with any of them? No. I do. I, okay. I mean, I walk past the resort. I see them jumping out of the water, but. So do you have access to that beach? In other words, as you're walking past, could you sit in the sand there or near enough there? Could I you can stand in front of the gate and watch them jump out the water? Is there some place that you could make yourself comfortable while you watch the dolphins? Not that I'm aware of. Find that. Find that place. Find a place where you can sit in the sand, make yourself comfortable and watch the dolphins and then listen for what they're telling you. Now we're going to tell you what they're going to tell you. Jerry always said, Tell them what you're going to tell them and then tell them and then tell them what you told them <laughs> because it takes a little while for things to seek in. So we're going to tell you what the dolphins are going to tell you. And then later you're going to come back. We'll meet you in LA and you can tell us what the dolphins told you. But so we're going to tell you what the dolphins are going to tell you. They're going to tell you that you are as free as they are. And you're going to say, you don't look free. You look limited to the water. And they're going to say, but we like being in the water. This is where we want to be. And we are free. We are free. We are free in this water. And you're going to say, well, you don't look free because you're in the water. You only are limited to the water. And they're going to say, but we are free, but we are free. And you're going to say, but you don't look free because you're limited. You're only in the water. And they'll say, but we are where we want to be. We're free. We're free. And then they'll say, we are joyful. We are joyful. And you will say, well, why are you joyful? Because you're limited to being in the water. And they'll say, we're joyful because we're in the water and that's where we want to be. We're joyful because we are purely connected to source energy. We are the embodiment of physical connection to source energy. We are inspired from broader perspective. We represent to you what being in the receiving mode is. We're joyful in our life experience. We are fulfilling our reason for being. We're exploring and we're expanding. We're expanding in our own unique way. We're expanding in ways that you can't see, but certainly you can see our joy. We don't jump out of the water for fish. They're in the water. We jump out of the water for joy. We jump out of the water because we can. We jump out of the water because over time we have discovered the power of our own momentum. We've discovered that when we swim consistently in a direction, in a straight line under the water, that we can gather speed and momentum. And then when we make a decision about wanting to go upward and outward, that momentum will take us up into a place that we are not naturally. And we do that not for need, not for necessity. We do that for joy. That's what they will say to you. And we are not talking about them saying it to you through their behavior. We're talking about them saying that to you through their vibration and you translating that. You will watch them and you will feel joy. They will breathe life back into your magnificent body. Go watch the dolphins. And they will remind you that you're a dolphin too. You're swimming in your current environment, but that you're eager to jump out into more light, into more fun, into more expansion, into more eagerness. That's who you are, you see. Yeah. And yeah, disregard the fact that they are in a water park. Throw that away. <laughs> Doesn't matter because they're happy no matter what. They're jumping out of the water. Yeah. They're jumping out of the water. They're jumping out of the water. They're jumping out of the water. And there are more. There are more than that are in the water. There is evidence all around you. There are children who will speak to you too vibrationally. We just think this is the path of least resistance about all of this, you see. Be easy about it and have fun with it and stop arguing for your limitations and talk a lot less and don't look for people for sounding boards about what's going wrong and limit your complaints to an hour a day and <laughs> look for things to appreciate. But most of all, what we really want you to do is get on subjects that are easy to get you in the receptive mode. There are many for you. Find them. Yeah. 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 If you had clearly heard some of what we have already given you, then there would be a reason in moving forward. But now it's just efforting. What have you received so far of what we've said? What do you now know that you didn't know when you sat down? I know to go onto Amazon and look for that mattress. Yeah. And what does that mean? 
And that means that I can look forward to getting a comfortable rest. Ooh, doesn't that feel good? And what does that mean? That I will start to feel better from... Because in the slumber, I release resistance while I sleep. And when I awaken, then I can approach the day anew. Yeah. So what we wish for you is a good night's sleep here. Right. Yeah. You just said that I could ask you, you said that we could... Go for, for it. it. Okay. I would go to LA right now, but I have something going on and it, it has been a trail of one thing after the next with the physical body. I have something going on in the lower area. We I, just talked you through that and now you're going back. Well, I just need to know if to have surgery or not. Oh. I don't want, no. no, it will go away on its own. What do those words feel like to you? When we said no, what was your feeling response? Don't do it. <laughs> Did you feel any relief? Did you feel... Oh, oh, um, when you said no, you feel it's what I would prefer. I prefer not to do it, but then I guess when your pain is enough, you wonder, well, how's that going to go away? But Well, the thing is, when you take action under these conditions, the Like, I can barely sit most of the time. Yeah. And how do you get around that? I mean, it's painful to sit. Yeah. And it's, it's when something's been going on for yeah. six months, we five know. months. Yeah. We know. It's a momentum that is hard to get around, but you can. But you're not trying yet. And mm. I would try with the thoughts. By just directing your thoughts in a little easier way. By lightening up a little bit. You're intense and you're used to being intense, but you've got to lighten up a little bit. Got to lighten up. Lighten up. How do I sit, though? Like, how do I find ways to sit if it's throbbing and killing you? I mean... Well, it's not killing you. It's enough to just keep pulling, like... We're going to tell you something, and it is our expectation that you will hear it clearly. As you hear this clearly, it will benefit you enormously. And then this conversation will come to an end, all right? Okay. So the cells of your body know everything that we've just been saying to you. And they don't have any resistance in them because they're not complicated consciousness and they're not worried about stuff. So the cells of your body are very intelligent and in communication with each other and are in communication with source. And so that communication equals thriving. So the cells of your body are in pure communication with source. Then the result is they're thriving because now they're in communication with each other. That's what a really healthy, good feeling, vital and alive, thriving body is. It's all about this vibrational communication. But you are, all of you, but you are, with your thinking mechanism, you are projecting thought. And that thought is a vibration. And sometimes you project thought that causes enough static or resistance in the signal that it makes it difficult for the communication between your cells and source and between source and cells to travel easily. That's resistance and that's what you're feeling in the pain. Now, when you get crossways of that, when the thought that you're thinking is not in harmony with the thought that the source within you is thinking, you feel the discord of that. And in the early stages of that, in the easy, slow momentum of that, the result of that is you feel negative emotion. But what's happening with you, and it happens with a lot of people, you have adjusted to the negative emotion. So you keep thinking the same thoughts that are the reason for the negative emotion, and then you just tolerate the negative emotion. And we've been saying for a long time, it's not very comforting under these condi under any conditions really, but we say it to anyway, is that when you've got negative emotion, if you don't do something about changing the subject and relieving the tension of this contrasting thought, don't worry, law of attraction is going to cause that negative emotion to become more. So the negative emotion becomes more and more and more. And eventually it's not just an emotional sensation, it's a physical sensation. The really good news, and it is really, really good news, is that when you feel physical discomfort, what you're calling pain or throbbing pain, what that means is that the asking is really strong, but the resistance is too. But what it mostly means, the part of it that we want you to hear is that it means help is on the way, 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 help is here. Help is not just on the way, help is here, but you're not letting the help in because you've got resistance. Your thoughts, your chronic thoughts are not letting the help that is there get through. When and you that, feel the pain, it means help is on the way? Because yes. Yes, because the pain, like the negative emotion, it's the indication of the 
thought that is causing the resistance and so help is on the way you're just not letting the help through because you've got resistance so if you could relax into the pain and acknowledge it as it's help on the way this pain doesn't mean something's gone terrible really wrong in fact it means the opposite it means something is going wonderfully right help is on the way help is on the way help is on the way and if I could just relax and allow that now it won't instantaneously give you big huge physical relief but you will begin to feel softer and softer and softer and softer the discomfort becomes less and less and less and less and less and less and less physical pain means that help is on the way now you heard that you don't quite believe it but you heard that but here's the piece that is going to help you know it you sat in that chair as one of the most resistant people that we have ever encountered in an environment like this anyone who's been experiencing what you've been experiencing would be behaving and feeling just like you're feeling this is exactly the right way for you to be feeling and behaving under the conditions that you've been living we're just showing you to how to make an end run around your conditions and so wow isn't it something that even with all that resistance that you've got going on we still called you forward and this has been for you and for them and for us we don't care one of the most difficult conversations that we've ever had because your resistance is there in other words this has been painful this has been painful because we are giving you because of the intensity of your desire you're asking with such fervor that we cannot deny you we've got to keep talking to you we've got to keep going for it we've got to keep explaining it we've got to give you what you want because you are so important and because you care so much and because you want so much and because you deserve so much and because you are worthy so much we have to keep giving it to you but do you feel how as we keep giving it to you and you're not ready to receive it how painful it is don't you just wish we would go away <laughs> anyway that really is a really good explanation for you the power of your desire is serving you but you've got to find a little relief in your resistance and it is our absolute knowing that you have found the conscious realization of it here now you just have to practice it a little bit practice it and continuing this conversation is not going to cause anything to happen right here right now you now have the tools be easy about it and we will be right there with you we're right there with you we will whisper to you we will talk to you we will give you impulses and some of them you will get and those impulses will start paying off and you're gonna start feeling good and it is our powerful encouragement that you take the music of your choice some music that you really enjoy some music that makes you feel like you want to move play that music every day for an hour at least every day maybe not at once but an hour every day and allow your body to move to the rhythm of that music just move not a lot just to the rhythm of the music allow yourself it's a sort of like a yoga from the inside out allow your physical apparatus to find the beat within the music your body will feel things moving your body will move in ways that you are not used to moving you will find yourself stretching and reaching you'll pull your shoulders you'll find yourself inspired because the source within you will find reasons to move you in a way that you have not moved before and with every little bit of that what will begin to happen is that the source within you will reach the cells that are asking for what they are asking for and soon this blockage that you feel is so strong will not be there it is our promise to you <laughs> move easily just move easily just move easily relax in your body let your inner being walk you let your inner being walk with you you stand strong there is no reason for you to do anything other than move easily everything is right with this apparatus Really? Really?